Hi everyone and welcome to sunny Serbia once again. I'm still in the capital city of Belgrade and the big question of today is am I on a construction site? Apparently so, let me explain. In the last video we jumped in a time machine back to 1973 to investigate brutalist architecture in this city. This video is the complete antithesis of that one. I'm in an area of the city which is very much a bone of contention for locals. It could be described in one of two ways. Number one, a wonderful boost to local employment and the economy, or more than likely, a diabolical monstrosity of biblical proportions financed by Arab oil money. On that note, let's check out Belgrade Waterfront. Sexy YouTubers be like, is this Dubai? Yeah, I wasn't planning on doing this video if I'm honest because I feel like it's kind of been overdone to death on YouTube, but I had a couple of hours free, so I thought I'd come down here and put my spin on it. I first came to Belgrade back in 2019 and it feels like this development has been going on since the dawn of time. Obviously it's, it's ginormous, it's massive, so it will take time, but it just feel like, feels like it's been going on forever, you know? And there's an area I'm gonna to go to a bit later, Sava Square, which really highlights the difference between what it looks like now compared to back then. So I believe it's part residential, part commercial, as you can see. They're like little restaurants in what look like sort of shipping container size sort of things. Awesome. Um, restaurants down the bottom of that building over there and there's a Galleria shopping mall over to the right of the screen. Um, and really I think it's been put together to create like a proper modern downtown area in Belgrade which it does kind of lack. I'm saying the positives first of all in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Now you might think that a lot of Serbs are pissed off with this development purely because, you know, the average Serb probably couldn't afford to live here in terms of prices of apartments and admittedly that's partially true because I'm sure the average person who works part-time in Shop and Go or Maxi or Aroma probably couldn't afford one of these apartments but there's more to it than that. Now I haven't seen anyone in Belgrade driving around in a Maserati but apparently it's coming soon. So you never know. This is nice, isn't it? Nice little decking area. There are people hugging behind that bush. You can have a nice little walk down by the river, I'm sure. In some ways, it's kind of like the river down at Hotel Yugoslavia on the way to Zemun. Mama. In that you've got the walking bit, you've got the bike bit. I'm sure at some point there will be, you know, little ice cream selling things here as well. Oh, I can smell the water and I can smell fish. A lot of people on this embankment doing fishing. There's some down by the um, actual water on the rocks. Looks like they've gone now. Oh no, there's one. I'm doing lots of awful angles today. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of the scale of this development slash project. I just wanted to add about money and the fact that you know not everyone will be able to afford these buildings of course in every country there are varying degrees of affluence right some people are poor some people are rich and i'm sure there are many people in belgrade that would be able to afford a place like this but let's face it in a lot of cases anywhere in the world affluence is often gained via illegitimate means you know i remember a friend of mine who lives here he told me about something about balkan cartels um and I remember I actually bought a Mercedes of a Bulgarian guy once who I swear was like a Balkan drug lord, um, if you know what I mean. He's, his uh, bodyguards are in the kitchen in this massive house in Northwest London. So, you know, I'm sure people will be able to live here. Whether they get that money from legitimate means, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if I'm really off base with that. That's not the right expression, if you know what I mean. I must admit, the one thing that isn't so aesthetically pleasing is that building directly ahead i see it everywhere and it from you know from every place in the city and it just it's a bit of an eyesore i've got to admit at least these buildings here 
the residential ones, you know, they look kind of okay. You know, and that, that kind of design there, I remember that sort of thing from like Singapore. So, you know, there is that kind of Middle Eastern slash Asian feel. Watch the Maserati again. Now, the reasons for this development being such a bone of contention among locals are numerous and multiple. It kind of evolves around the fact that the government essentially changed laws illegally um, to allow them not to have any kind of tender process in terms of who was going to invest in this development. It was invested in by a company from the United Arab Emirates called Eagle Hills, which is responsible for the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. You can see the similarities, right? That's why I said at the beginning about sexy YouTubers, <laughs> I was taking the piss in an endearing way, right? Um, and also there were issues such as the fact that locals weren't consulted about the construction of this, whether or not they actually wanted it and whether it actually fit in with the look and feel of the city and numerous other things I've heard about in terms of low paid workers, construction workers from other countries that were treated badly. Um, houses and things that were demolished and people were basically forcibly removed from their dwellings in this area to make way for this so there's a huge amount of controversy around it you know I hope the Serbian government doesn't kill me for doing this but I think it's something that locals are talking about have been talking about for a long time and it needs to be spoken about because I don't know whether I would want this if I lived in Belgrade because it really doesn't match the look and the feel of the rest of the city. Let me know what you think down below. I'm sure you will anyway. Is Belgrade Waterfront an example of polishing a turd? Absolutely, in my opinion. You know, when I think of Dubai or Abu Dhabi, I've been there. Um, I feel like it's just a metropolis of money. It has no substance. Belgrade has substance. It's got history. It's got general epicness everywhere in terms of architecture, culture, art, you name it. And I feel like this doesn't add to it whatsoever. It's just a money hole, if you know what I mean. A cash cow. Now I'm sure in terms of the economy, I'm sure Belgrade Waterfront will bring money to the economy in terms of things like tourism and also locals you know going down to bars and things or whatever on a saturday night by the river fine but there's always the question with this sort of area you know yeah that money is coming but where does that money go does it go to the people that need it does it truly benefit actual locals or is it just for the rich people now one thing i do like about serbia and always have liked is that if something is crap I can say it's crap or even shit and locals won't give a shit um usually they agree with me um but on a positive note i'm going to try and be positive you know maybe this is like a high-rise cbd area that belgrade kind of needs i don't know we will see i don't know when this finishes i'll have to look it up um lovely a1 bus Tram spam. Down by the bus station, which is kind of next to the waterfront. This is uh, Savamala down that way. It's kind of OG Belgrade for me. It's where I first stayed when I came here the first time two years ago. And um, another thing about Eagle Hills, I read that there's a historical building in Savamala that's kind of been uh, converted into their headquarters and it was once you know this historical building and it's now home to an Arab property developer. I remember this area well Istanbul food shop there's sexy shop up there I remember walking to my Airbnb the first time I got here after getting off the A1 bus like at two o'clock in the morning. The place you're about to see Sava Square to my right was very different last year when I was here. Now it's completely different. What have they done? Okay, I'm joking. I've got to admit, it looks quite pretty with the trees and the rather overly manicured lawns. 
and seating areas everywhere. Um, this whole area, if I go back to 2019, I'll put some shots over the top from some old videos. You can see what it used to look like. The trams used to come around here, but closer, the road up there with the tram tracks is up there. But it used to come up here and then turn left up the hill towards Slavia Square. But now, of course, it's all this nice, sunny, green area, relaxing. For a minute, I thought that little bit down there was where the tram tracks used to be. Am I going crazy? I'm sure it used to come down here and then kind of go where I am now. And there was a, a kind of wide road here and a bus stop around there. Not a bus stop, a tram stop. Now it's all the way back there. But this is the thing I'd like your opinion on. Well, I'd like your opinion on everything in this video. But this particularly, this statue with this bulbous gold base, which wasn't here the last time I was here. Um, it's a little bit imposing. It's a bit large, isn't it? I mean, it's very nice. You've got like this green jade sort of color and this bluey mosaic with these little suns. But I do kind of like this, look. There's like this transparent floor and it's like mirrored inside. So this gold bulbous thing is reflected all the way down. That is actually quite cool. Right, I'm back in the Belgrade I know and love. Um, by the way, earlier I wasn't implying that everyone in Serbia are drug dealers. That was just an example. Of course, there are many people that work online, people that maybe work for US companies earning US dollars. I earn in US dollars and I'm in Serbia. So, you know, I'm not saying that everyone in Serbia is on that average wage because it's it's questionable about how much that average wage is. Many people say it's $450, other people say it's 800 So, you know, not everyone is in the same position and I'm not saying that everyone is drug dealers, are drug dealers. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay, I'm walking up the hill back home. Um, I just want to say to end this video, it's a short video today, that, you know, I'm sure that area will look lovely when it's finished and I'm sure it will add a lot to the city regardless of all of the issues I mentioned earlier. You know, when uh, a city has new styles of architecture or a new development, there's always opposition, right? And perhaps, you know, maybe this will just be the start of further development in Belgrade. So, um, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the end screens over there for all my many other Serbia videos. I'm out of breath. And um, see you next time. Catch you later.